What's that one thing people in their 20s should do before turning 30? Learn to stop seeing 30 as some depressing end. Can still do your hobbies, make new friends, etc. at 30 plus. Other than investing, get your physical and mental health in order. This, the efforts you make in your late 20s and early 30s to establish a solid base of physical and mental fitness will pay huge dividends down the road. Just like every other living thing in nature, we lose playability as we age both mentally and physically, unless we actively take steps to stem that tide. If you smoke cigarettes quit, it's fun when you're in your 20s, but it'll catch up to you way quicker than you think. If you quit now your body still has time to heal much of the damage that has been done to it. And learn the life plan mints it. Sometimes, things change. You won't like your career that you majored in later, like you do now. Or maybe you already started seeing the cons, but that's okay. Starting over isn't a bad thing. Life isn't a race. Don't compare your life to your cousin Johnny or your cousin Lily. They're already struggling with their parents' expectations. Also if you can, move away from your parents. You'll be surprised by how much parents can influence their children's lives and their choices. Brush your damn teeth. Moisturize. Start moisturizing. People, getting a routine down in your 20s is a good habit to have for the rest of your life. Realize that your friend group from your early 20s will most likely look completely different by your later 20s and into your 30s and that's okay. To add to this, never stop making new friends. Your circle will change as people have kids, get married, change jobs. If you stop making new friends in your 20s you will forget how to in your 30s. If you're a guy who suspect you might go bald early because of genetics, try out some weird hairstyles. Well, if it works in your line of work, Get a fork, cut some bangs like it's 70s, grow it out, braid it, you only have one head of hair, and when it's gone, it's gone. Create habits while you have the energy too, like a workout routine, a good fitness regime is key to health as you grow, but also, don't just think about strength, work on your flexibility, stretch, take some yoga for beginners class to learn, if you have the guts. Your body will thank you for not allowing it to grow stale and stiff as you age. Seriously think about what you want to do in life before you limit yourself. Marriage and parenthood are great, but they also close many doors. Travel and see the world, or don't, and figure out how you want to live your life before it's not longer a decision you can make on your own. I don't mind the idea of having kids. Older kids can be cool, and it's always fun teaching them new things. And when I'm older, I want to have adult children. However, I dread the idea of having an infant to like a 5 year old. I feel like those 5 to 6 years would just drain the life out of me. Being constantly needed. I've seen so many friends lose a bit of their soul by having kids. Check out culture offerings in your area or the next larger city. Many institutions, like museums, theaters, opera etc have special offers for people younger than 30 or 27. In order to interest the new generation, I noticed some time ago that I really enjoy theater, who knew, and I'm now bummed that I could have gone to all the best shows for a fraction of what I would have to pay now that I'm over 30. For those of you in the US, put money into your 401. K. It's taken out of your paycheck automatically, so you won't miss it. If you start doing it early in your career, when employers offer a match, it becomes free money. There's a big difference in outcomes. If you start in your 20s instead of waiting until your 30s or later, additionally, you don't pay any income taxes on the money you put in, and it grows tax-free. You pay taxes once you start taking money out after age 59.5. You can also borrow money from your account to fund major purchases such as a first home. 401. K. US. SIP. UK. RRSP. Canada. Superannuation. Australia and other countries are all tax advantaged pension schemes and should be started as early as possible. Compounding is a beautiful thing. Go back to school. If you are wondering if you should. I went back at 28, graduated at 33. As a 40 year old I'm patting my 28 year old self on the back. Start saving money, and think twice about who you are taking financial advice from. If the person giving you the advice is broke af, 
or barely old enough to shave, then maybe you shouldn't listen to them. I have been given some absolutely awful advice over the years that world have sunk me if I'd taken it. Be excited about turning 30, I was. Every year had been better and better, and for myself anyway my 30s have been great so far. If you're lucky by the time you're 30 you have a better sense of self, give fewer craps about what people think of you, hopefully have a career or some stable footing, and maybe have some savings. Become independent enough that your responsibilities don't become someone else's problem to deal with, especially if you have roommates. Also, lose the douchey college bro attitude. Being an obnoxious know-it-all or the unrelenting center of attention guy gets reloaded. Real quick, adulthood isn't a popularity contest. Start investing money. Add money to your retirement account, even if it's $10, $100. $27.50, whatever it is, sock away a bit of money. Easiest way is to put it in an index fund, i.e., a mutual fund that follows some stock index like the S&P 500. When I was 22 or so, my friend's brother-in-law got a job at an investment company and so naturally trolled all my friend's friends for customers, including myself, just to get him to stop talking. I agreed to invest in his funds a few hundred a month. After a few years, I stopped putting money into that fund. 30 years later, I took a look at that account, which I didn't add to, but just let sit around, and it had a quarter million bucks in it, which I can't touch until retirement or else incur a tax event. Use sunscreen every single time you go outside, and never tan. I was a idiot and tanned plus never wore sunscreen in my teens and early 20s. My skin is a wreck now in my mid 30s due to all the sun damage, and once the damage is done you can't reverse it unfortunately. Also save as much as you can for retirement, your older self will thank you. Start fixing any health issues, especially hereditary ones. Tackle it early, and you'll be able to live your life comfortably. If you wait, things will get worse, and you'll spend multiple years in your 30s or later dealing with it. Not ask questions like these. Do not feel you're part of the rat race. You have enough time in your life. Any hobbies you had in your 20s won't disappear when you're 30. Don't think 30 as being old lol. Travel. Alone to a country halfway across the world that doesn't share your cultural language. Nothing puts you out of your comfort zone like intentionally being alone and uncomfortable, but it teaches you loads. You learn to be comfortable in your own skin and overcome being self-conscious and awkward. You grow from forcing yourself to eat alone and talk to strangers. You learn to appreciate people who are different from you, their food, their culture, and whatever arrogance, superiority complex, or ego you once had, even subconsciously, gets a reality check. Perfectionist obsessed about being prim and proper, you learn you have most fun when you allow your hair to get messy and your feet to get dirty. You gain so much perspective, and it's so liberating. 20s and right out of college is when you have least responsibilities, so go. Stay single. Most people in their 20s haven't fully developed or established who they are and what they really want yet. Often you don't realize this until you are older and look back at yourself. Unfortunately this is also the time when people make most of their life choices, their life partner, their career etc. And they often end up lumbered with poor choices which don't really fit anymore. Also do as many things as you can while you are young as your choices slash opportunities reduce significantly over the years. If I could do it over again, I'd have worked harder in my 20s. If you can get a degree faster and start your career sooner, your 30s will be a lot more comfortable. I didn't start my career until 30 and had to spend the next decade getting to where most 30 year olds are. Stop yourself from saying you are so old now and continue to hit pause on that thought in your 30s. Consider that you're simply grown instead, you've still got plenty of time to actually get old. No need to rush it, you can put that off longer than you think. I'll bite on this question. I may get downvoted on this but whatever. Personally, take a break from dating for at least a year, but like seriously, don't chase tail, don't worry about getting late and all that. I did it for 2 years at age 25 and 26, and I never realized how much fun I could have. Just me and my boys, river trips, at the lake wakeboarding every week, hitting the gym 5 days a week, 
played in two leagues of hockey, camping weekends, road trips, sitting on beaches in Mexico twice a summer, hanging out at a bar with no agenda other than have a great time and not trying to meet someone and go home with them. It was great. It was also when I met my now wife because she saw I wasn't after one thing and was loving life. We actually dated, like as in really went on dates and okay see you tomorrow, when the night was over, without any real intimacy, it cleared my mind of, so many things and I encourage people in their 20s to do this, if it applies to you, I'm now 40, still married, kids, loving life still, and I think this has a lot, to do with not shacking up quick with some girl, and marrying based off really good intimacy.